find the natural frequency of given system. Let us understand given system. Mass small m is connected to the disc of mass capital M and radius capital R. Spring with stiffness k is also connected to the disc at a distance small r from the center. Now when this mass m is displaced in the downward direction through a distance x, then we have to find out the equation of the motion for this system. We are going to solve this question by using energy method. So we have to first find out the kinetic energy as well as potential energy in the system. Now when this mass m is displaced through a distance small x, then the disc is also getting rotated through angular displacement theta. So we will show this. So suppose we will consider here is the original position of point A. Then the disc is rotated through an angle theta. So here is the new position that is A dash. Spring with stiffness K is also connected to the disc and therefore deflection delta in the spring. So we have to mention this. Now we will find out the kinetic energy in the system. So there are two types of kinetic energy, translational kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy. Here the linear displacement x is taking place in this mass small m. So we can write the equation for k translational. As, so we know that kinetic energy is half mv square. So velocity we will write in terms of displacement half m x dot square. Now in the same way for this disc we will write the rotational kinetic energy. So Ke rotational is equal to half. Now instead of m we have to write mass moment of inertia. So this disc is having mass moment of inertia i. So we will write i and instead of x dot we will write theta dot because theta is the angular displacement so we will write theta dot square now what is this value of i for this disk so for disk value of i is m r square by 2 so in this case m that is mass is given as a capital m radius is given as a capital r so we will write a uh, capital m capital r square by 2 so here we can write half in bracket capital M capital R square by 2 theta dot square. Now we will find out the relation in between this x and theta. So suppose from this point A dash I will draw one perpendicular line to this line O to A and I will give here the point of intersection as a B. Then this B to A dash is also equal to this x. Now from this triangle O B A dash we can write here X is equal to R sin theta because this O to A dash is R. So I will write here X is equal to R sin theta. X is equal to here is capital R. O to A dash is capital R. So capital R sin of theta. So we can write th sin theta is equal to theta because this theta is very small. Therefore x is equal to r theta. So this is the relation in between x and theta. So we can use this relation and we can convert this k translational in terms of theta. So we can write here x dot that is r theta dot. Now we will move for this deflection delta. So suppose here the point of intersection of this spring to this disc is p. Then I will make here as the disc is getting rotated through an angle theta the position new position of p is p dash so i will move here i will make here the new position is a p dash and the distance p to p dash is known as deflection delta so how we can find out this delta so we know the vertical line o to p is equal to r now this delta is very small so we can also say O to P dash is also equal to small r. 
So from this triangle OPP dash we can write here delta is equal to R sin theta. So delta is equal to here we have to use small r. Small r sin theta but theta is very small. So sin theta is equal to theta. So delta is equal to r theta. So this is the relation in between this delta and theta. Now we will move for the potential energy. So potential energy in this system it is due to the spring with stiffness k. And how to find out potential energy in the spring? So formula is half potential energy in spring is equal to half multiplied by stiffness. So stiffness is k multiplied by deflection square. So deflection is delta. So we have to use here delta square. Now instead of delta we can use the value that is r theta. Now we will move for the energy equation. So energy equation is total energy U is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy is equal to constant. Now kinetic energy we have to use Ke translational plus Ke rotational. So Ke translational is half mx dot square. So instead of x we will x dot we will use r theta dot. So we will use here r theta dot bracket square that is half m r square theta dot square. Now we will move for k rotational. So this, this is the final equation for the translational kinetic energy in terms of theta dot. Now k rotational is if we simplify this 1 by 4 m r square into theta dot square. So here we have to use this. Now what about potential energy? So instead of delta we will use r theta bracket square. So we can write here half multiplied by k multiplied by r square theta square. So this is the potential energy. So for this total energy u we can add all these three. So we can write here half into small m capital R square theta dot square plus 1 by 4 m r square theta dot square plus half k r square theta square is equal to constant. Total energy u and angular displacement theta are the variables and this varies with respect to time t. So we can differentiate this equation with respect to t. So how we can write? So we will write du by dt is equal to now if we observe this equation here this half m r square constant term 1 by 4 capital M r square is also constant and half k r square is also constant. So we will keep as it is. So we will write half m r square now theta dot square. So how we will differentiate 2 theta dot into theta double dot. Now what is this theta dot? So we will write here theta dot is equal to d theta by dt. While theta double dot is known as d square theta by dt square. So this we have to remember. Now plus 1 by 4 mr square. Now theta dot square that is 2 theta dot theta double dot. Plus 1 by 2 kr square as it is. Now theta square that is 2 theta into theta dot and is equal to constant. So when we differentiate constant with respect to that with respect to t then it is equal to 0. Now we will simplify this. Now this 2 2 is getting cancelled. So here is also 2 and here 2 2 is also getting cancelled. Now if we observe this theta dot theta dot and theta dot is the common term. So we will take outside the bracket and we will transfer to the right hand side. So it will become 0. So we will write here small m r square theta double dot plus 1 by 2 capital M r square theta double dot plus k r square theta is equal to 0. Now we will take theta double dot as a comb. So small m r square plus half m r square bracket complete theta double dot plus k r square theta is equal to 0. Now we know the coefficient of theta double dot is this bracket. So we will divide all this equation with the coefficient of theta double dot. So it will become theta double dot plus k r square divided by. So here the r square is common term. So we will take outside the bracket. So here m small m plus capital M by 2 bracket complete r square. Then this whole bracket complete theta is equal to 0. 
So when we compare this equation with this x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to zero, then theta double dot is equivalent to x double dot. Theta is equivalent to x. So we can write omega n is equal to under root of this whole term. So here I have written. Now we have to find out the natural frequency. So f n is equal to. So how we can write f n? So f n is equal to omega. 1 by 2 pi into omega n. So we will write f n is equal to 1 by 2 pi multiplied by this term. 